Hello, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars and today I'm going to be showing you some basic theory and we're going to start back to the beginning. There's a few people who have um, asked me to... We've been going over blues but now I'm going to go backwards because I'm going to fill in a few of those gaps to help a few people understand what the... Um, what we mean by intervals and why they're so important and hopefully regardless of whether you're playing blues guitar or any other style of guitar, sorry, uh, whatever kind of style of guitar you're playing, this will help you. This will help you if you're a complete and utter beginner. I'm hoping this video will give you some enlightenment into why theory is so relevant, so helpful and hopefully so inspiring. Um, I bit of product placement for today. This has just arrived. Uh, this will be a separate video, but I was just so blown away by them. Two new colours, one of which I'm going to use. So this is, I call it lemon drop, but they call it something else. Uh, I can't remember what even colour they call it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely magnificent. So that's a Court CR250. Uh, check out my website and you will see that, some photographs of that coming shortly because it's just utterly crazy. Right. That's that one. Uh, and you'll hear the sound because I've been playing this one. Well, I won't be playing it much actually, but um, now look at this. This is what they call some kind of two-tone, you know, the flipping. But I don't normally like guitars, like really obviously flip colour. But with this one, you don't notice it. So there, look, it looks like a stunning blue. And then it turns into, if I can get it right on here, look at that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's like a Oh, like a Jaguar green kind of finish. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so, yeah, I rather like that. Literally just seen it minutes ago. So that, look, the whole thing does it. Absolutely crazy. And it's about 429. I think that's the price, 429. Look at that heel joint, beautiful. 429. So it's kind of Les Paul concept, very traditional Les Paul style, but there you go. Sorry if you weren't interested in that, but nice. Um, okay, let's go. So today we're going to do intervals, and um, I'm going to take it for. I'm going to presume that you know nothing about what they are. So I'm going to. I'm going to try and explain it to you. Right then. Where we want to go to is learning what we call the major scale or the diatonic scale. It's a seven-note scale. And you may have heard this before. And clearly, a few people out there that have been watching my videos will almost certainly know what this is. Same scale. In fact, interestingly, that's a really important point. If I start from here, and then I do it from here, they're different, but they're the same. And that's really important to bear in mind. If you follow the same structure, the relationship between the notes remain the same. Even though the actual notes you're playing are different, the structure remains the same. So, for example, if we had a ruler and we looked at the distance between 5 centimetres and 7 centimetres, we know it's 2 centimetres, we just know that. Right? The distance between 2 centimetres and 4 centimetres is also 2 centimetres. It's the same. It, but it's shifted between 2 and 4 to 5 and 7. It's still the same distance. Now, when we're measuring sound, we measure in exactly the same way. We have a measuring stick. And what you have to think of is, this measuring stick is measuring sound moving away from you. Okay? So imagine you've got our first little bit of measuring distance. It's called a semitone. Okay? A semitone is the distance between any two adjacent frets. So our first, our first distance we want to learn is just like throwing a little, well, if we're measuring a stick, just a, a one, let's call it a 12-inch ruler, because actually there are 12 semitones that we're going to be talking about. So let's imagine those 12 semitones are now, um, those 12 inches are semitones. So our first inch, or our first semitone, our first increment of distance that we want to either move in inches or sound, okay, using the analogy, um, is going to be this one semitone. So the distance between two adjacent frets is always called a semitone. 
And that most people recognize straight away. <laughs> so that's my very bad version of Jaws. So Jaws, whenever you hear that, when you next watch that film with the kids, um, is um, a semitone. And, and it doesn't, it obviously wouldn't sound quite the same. In fact, if we did up here, what do we hear then? It's kind of like a psycho or whatever up here. It's, it gives you the chills because it kind of has that kind of psycho feel. So, um, something out of a horror film. So whether it be down here, that's scary. got that chilling feeling to it. That's a semitone. The next distance we move to is a tone and that is simply two semitones and a tone is the most obvious one is happy birthday. So if you play even as a complete beginner you could find the note that you're playing obviously this isn't about technique this video but if you were playing the first note if you just went and if you literally sang it to yourself, ah, there is my note. <laughs> I'm not a singer. Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> so it's going to be there. It's going to be happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mr. Bit. So, and this vocal quality that you start to hear whether you call it a vocal quality or this, um, you're, you're starting to listen to, even from learning your very first two bits of theory, let's say, we're hearing it musically. We're hearing Jaws. And if you want to be a bit happier, we think of Happy Birthday. This is a really important way to learn your intervals, your distance that you're moving away from what we call the root note. So the root is whatever note you are starting from, okay? The root is so we can have a root of a chord. And in this case, the root is this note here, the bass note here, the A, A. So this chord is made up of a bunch of intervals because as we play this chord, there's lots of notes, in this case three different notes, which are repeating through. And those notes are being heard at different intervals from the root. And that's what gives it the flavour. So intervals give us a flavour. And once you've learnt the basic ingredients that make up that flavour, you will know how that chord always sounds in the future. So what we want, going back to my original point, the scale, the major scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. So we've all heard that. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. What I want to do in this first lesson, and that's why I've got the, uh, the diagram, which I've painstakingly spent hours in there. But I've, I've um, it's great, because in the old days, when I used to do tuition, had all these diagrams, they're all written on pieces of paper. So it's kind of been quite fun, just rewriting them on a you know, computer and um, trying to find the time just to do it. So between lessons, I'm creating these little diagrams. So I'm hoping the diagram's going to make some sense for you. So what, over whichever shoulder it is currently showing, or below, wherever it is, what that's showing you is some, some of the intervals that make up the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And this is going to be quite cool. So let's go through it. So the first one we've got is the root note. So everything is going to start from that low E. And on the diagram, you'll see that's the root, the R, the red root. The very first interval from the root that makes up the first, the second note of the major scale is what we call a tone or a two. It's a number two. No root jokes. So I'm going to say it's a no, no, no. Right. <laughs> Too many jokes. Right. Root, tone. Okay, so if my finger's not, if it's not clear enough there, root, two frets up, finger goes just behind the fret, not, not on top of the fret, but in the middle of it. And I don't want to get too much involved in the technique here, but for anyone who's just starting out, it is just behind the fret. So that's our happy birthday. Okay, in order to go to the next note in the scale, the next note is called a third. 
okay, a major third, big M3. Hopefully on the diagram it's written down as a big M3. So a third is four frets down from the root. Okay. Now we can either learn, I'm going to show you this in two different ways. So because I'm trying to get you to learn it in an interesting way. I'm trying to get you to learn this in terms of intervals from the root. So I'm going to show you what a second is, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and back to the root. And I'll explain why in a minute. In the, trust me, trust me, we'll get there. I'll, I'll, I'll whiz through this. So the first interval is a tone, as we said, root to, to the second note is a tone. A root to the third note in the scale is a quarter major third. Okay? So, kumbaya, kumbaya, what a wholesome song. So, kumbaya, kumbaya. So, root, major third. We don't need to worry about the next note. I'm just, I'm just wanting you to visualize, I want you to hear it in your mind. If you want to go up to that note, you can. Whenever you hear kumbaya, you will know that's a major third. So, for example, you, again, you don't need to know this, but if I know a major third is just here to here. So we've done a root, we've done a second, and we've done a third. Okay, so now we've got... And can you, you can start hearing the major scale coming out of this now. Do, re, mi. Okay. Go to my fourth. Now on the diagram you'll see the fourth, what we call the fourth, is at the fifth fret. Okay, the fifth semitone away from the root. Okay. So we've got root, two, three, and now we're on the four, okay? So this is the fourth step of the scale. And this is a really, really important one, and that's why if you look on the diagram, we've got it changed, I've changed the color, whatever the color is. And you'll see that same color just below the, uh, uh, the open string on the A, the, uh, you'll see the same color on the A string, okay? That's the open A. And what we're saying is, the note between here, the low E, and the A, is the same as there. And depending on your ability and how long you've been playing, you might realise that's why, when you tune your guitar, you hear that. You hear people tuning their guitar. They do that all the time, because they're comparing the two notes side by side. Because if the note we hear here, is the same as the note we hear here, then we're using that as a reference point to see if we're in tune. Yeah, got that one right. Okay, because I should be able to hear this in my head. Um, because I'm trying to translate the movement of those notes, I'm trying to find them process that and turn it into the fretboard movements, which sometimes I'm going to get better, sometimes I'm not going to get right at all, uh, as you've already seen. Um, so, um, da, 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 that's where we're going from, so where are we going, so do, 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 yeah, so if we go from the root down here to the fifth here, the fifth fret, slightly complicated it's actually a fourth on our diagram the actual chord tone or the interval forget the word chord tone but think of it as an interval the interval between the root and the four that measurement we're talking about in sound if you ever ever hear that's a fourth now you can think of something else I mean for example another one I could have given you was Apache um, the old shadows days I learned that from uh, one of my first songs I ever learned. Uh, I forget it. But can you hear? I'm 
hoping you can hear that just if you can just learn two notes, those are the beginnings of songs. But rather than just copying those songs, you are now understanding the musical framework from where those songs came from. So we that takes us up to a fourth. So now let's listen to those notes side by side because now we're going to start to hear that do re mi fa so la ti do, the major scale coming out. Root, tone, tone, and semitone to there. Root, tone, tone, semitone. If you look on that diagram again, you'll see T's and ST's. And that is tones for two frets apart, semitones for one fret apart. So as I said at the beginning, so we're going tone, tone, semitone. That's the beginning of our scale. So we've got root, tone, tone, semitone. Okay? And then we're going to carry on. The next one is um, twinkle, twinkle. Our fifth interval of a fifth. I'll whiz through these. So what were they doing? Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay, that's a fifth. So again, if we play it in terms of how our major scale would work. But if you ever want to know how a fifth sounds. Think of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, for He's a Jolly Good Fellow is our next one. Uh, so, for He's a Jolly Good Fellow, for He's a, jo he's a Jolly Good Fellow. Okay, Seven's a really cool one. Take On Me by Aha. Do you remember that song? It's got to be there. Oh God, it's not. See, if I want to learn, if I want to get my vocals right, this is what I'd be doing. And this is what this is why this is such a killer exercise for getting you to hear and to understand the notes and how they're impacting um, when you're playing musically. Because if you can't sing it. I can't hear it, so I couldn't hear that. So I used to sit there and practice. You got the idea. Singing in the rain is not good. You'll find a better one than that. So, um, so now then, once you've gone through that, that diagram, we've got root, tone, tone. So you can either think of them like stepping stones always coming away. And I deliberately, this is a slightly more complicated way of showing you. I mean, it is. I would normally do the tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone thing. And it, but that's really quick and easy for me to tell you. And that'd be too dull um, because it kind of misses something out for you. And this is the point. I've deliberately gone in slightly at the deep end because Actually, I think you've got the ability to understand this at that slightly deeper level than what people are normally taken for. Um, people are kind of expected to not get it, but I think you can. And tell me if you can. Tell me if this is making any sense to you at all. So, so what we've just said is, if you look at that diagram, the, the easy way to remember where the fingers go is as such. It's like this. Just think two tones, semitone. Three tones, semitone. Couldn't be easier. Two tones, semitone. Three tones, semitone. Think of it as like slightly off, off. Uh, uh, it's not quite in balance, is it? You've got two tones and a semitone. Then you've got three tones and a semitone. And that's it. Now, now say it out to yourself. Tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. Tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. Slightly off balance. Two tones on that side. Three tones on that side. Once you've got that in your head. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, you've got your major scale. That is it. That is all you've got to learn. And that's what I want you to practice. Okay? And this is going to make sense now, hopefully, because what you're going to do is you're going to play tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone.
starting from the root. So we go tone, two frets, tone, two frets, semitone, one fret. Now we're going to go the three now. Tone, 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 and ending on semitone. And what we're going to end there is the same note the where we started. It's out there. Right, okay. Uh, so, so root, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. You got it? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do. That's our major scale. Now, if you're clever and you're thinking ahead and you're looking at that diagram, you could start to realize why I've mentioned this note on the next string down because rather than playing all the way along one string but this is going to be the next lesson okay we can't play all the way along one string we can but it's a bit silly playing it from down one string the guitar fretboard is made up of like a grid and it's made up of starting points here and all those starting points are different so it enables us to skip across the strings but if we know that if you go up to the fifth fret on that string, it's going to sound the same as the fifth, the open string here, then we can carry on with that rule. So, for example, if we go root, tone, tone, semitone, well, that's like going a semitone to there. So we can go root, tone, tone, semitone, then we've got tone, tone. And now we've got to go another tone, so we're just skipping past the 5th fret, so we want to go just past the open string here, and then semitone to finish. So we've got root, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Now I am, being, I am able to do that because even if I didn't know the scale shape, I am doing it by logic. In other words, if the note that you hit at the 5th fret is the same note as what you hit at the next string down, then rather than playing that one, you play it there. So we know we can play that note there, we can play that one there. And that rule I call the 5 by 1. 5 by 1. It's like a grid. 5 down, 1 across, Bob's your uncle, same note. So if I go here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. So have a go at doing that as well, okay? Five by one. Whatever that note is, one, two, three, four, five, cross one, same note. Try it here, look. Five. One, two, three, four, five, down one. Yeah? So we got that note. Okay? You know that last note. Um, now, how many minutes? We've been 24 minutes. Now, that's quite a lot. So this is your first little stepping stone into musical theory. Um, and intervals okay so what we've learned today in summary is that whatever note you start from you can measure out measure out from that note and as you get further and further out those intervals those measurements have got names and those names are always exactly the same like on a ruler they are a measuring stick of sound and we can we can remember those 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 uh, those intervals or those stepping stones by songs that we recognize and it's a really nice way of doing it so you can come up with kind of musical ideas right from the outset come up with your own list of what makes up your major scale from the root so that's a great little exercise come up with the beginnings of songs that you can generate using your own songs from your own library of memory start trying to mix things try and remember beginnings of songs and see if anything catches your because what you'll probably find is when you do something You'll, you'll, you'll hear a song in your head that you maybe you won't but it doesn't matter because I've given you some that you can use as a reference I'm pretty sure that most people recognize that um, recognize those on there um, and hopefully this will just give you a bit of fun and what we'll do next time is we'll look at the major scale skipping across the strings so do re mi fa so do ti do do re mi fa so do ti do can't get up there 
once we have learnt the scale, then we can look at how chords are created, and then all of a sudden everything musically starts coming out. Um, okay, hang in there, try it, see how you get on. Have I made intervals the dullest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> so, this is probably why people don't like theory. Um, because, you know, anything that's new and a bit like, oh, look, there you go, just, just, if you're getting bored by what I'm talking about, just look at that lovely guitar. Um, pro I promise it's all going to be worthwhile. Hang in there, please. If I've lost you, let me know. St tell me in the comments below and um, I will go over. Uh, the great thing is, the amazing thing is, if what I've said in that video doesn't make any sense to anyone, I can just do it again because I will know that I've gone it about it from the wrong angle and we can do it again. No problem. No problem. Um, okay then, guys. Cheers. All right. See you soon. Bye.